Hey everyone, headed to a call in the Phoenix Mountain area. Got ourselves a snake by the door. I guess we've been there before. Uh, and this is an area where there's a lot of speckled rattlesnakes. So fingers crossed that it is a speckled rattlesnake. Hey, how you doing? Let's see what we got here. Is it a speckled rattlesnake? I think it is. I think the happy just rattled at you as you came out. Oh yeah, that's a little speckled rattlesnake. All right, well that is my third Phoenix Mountain speckled rattlesnake of the week. I knew it was gonna be a good week as soon as I started off with a speckled rattlesnake. And it was a beautiful day. I'm sure I'll get plenty more calls and you'll see lots of me. So I just got a message in Slack that Bayland uh, on our snake fence installation team, he's at a site right now installing a rattlesnake fence and he found a rattlesnake there. So good timing, <laughs> he got it in a bucket and I'm gonna head over there to help him out uh, and get that snake and relocate it so he can keep um, doing all, I guess, the various things he's doing to keep that yard safe. Where was he hiding? He was stretched out on the back fence. Really? Well, I guess, I guess the snake fence is already working. Here's some stuff. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Cool, it's nice and cold. Gave him some water too. Oh, he's happy. Oh yeah, it's a big, big girl. All right, everything else good? Yeah, I, uh, I've walked it a few more times just to make sure there's nobody else around. Okay, cool. I didn't see anybody. Well, if I take a peek, just to, yeah, just while it. I'm here. All right, I'll take her out of here. All right, see ya. Easy. I'm gonna have to take her a little bit further away than I want. I can't just put her into somebody else's yard, so. And a big snake like this out and about in this particular spot, she's not doing anything that she doesn't want to do. She's a big old snake. She knows what she knows the, the habitat. Um, so her to get caught doing something like that, you know, there may be some disturbance at play here. So we'll just kind of correct this problem. Yes, it would be better if she was a lot closer, but you know, you don't put her, you don't put an animal into a place where they can just get hit by a car right after you leave or else we're not really doing anything. Yeah, so this tree has come up. There's a pack rat nest that's been built at the base of it. And as a result, there's a pretty deep cave here that's going under here. So I'm gonna make sure this snake gets into there. She seems to already know what to do, ready to go. And uh, Balin had her, you ready? What an easy going animal. Tell your friends to all be like you. So yeah, I did have to move her a little bit further away than I would prefer, but the thing is, this is a much better situation. It's not gonna be developed anytime soon, and it's not just going to crawl directly into the street and there's someone else's backyard. Um, like I would have to at the other spot. I'm not even on the line today and I've moved two snakes So I'm gonna go back and get to my get back to my super fun paperwork Hey everyone, we got another one in the Phoenix Mountain area and this is at a resort Been here many times and every time it's a speckled rattlesnake. So be my second speckled rattlesnake today if I do if it is a speckled rattlesnake they didn't tell me for sure but that tends to be a lot of the rattlesnakes they get uh, in that area so good frost. was he coiled and they just started moving yeah, he was hiding in that tree. oh gotcha hey old bud He's 
not as violent as the other one. <laughs> oh yeah, that one was like, let me go. He was pissed off. Let me go. Yeah, I parked my cart over there just because the trash truck showed up. Yeah. And I was giving him shade, so he started moving. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Here. All right, another Phoenix Mountain Speck. This one's a little bigger than the last ones we've been getting. Hi, little buddy. All right, just trying to live that resort life. I know, it, I know. It. Wow, nice grayish color one. Wiggle on in there, little buddy. All right, buddy, keep on keeping on. See you, little one. So it's spec number two for today, and I'm pumped about it. So those uh, specs were in the Phoenix Mountain area, uh, but on two different ranges, I guess you would say. Uh, one was a little bit more pink, one was a little bit more gray. I love all the flavors of speckled rattlesnakes. All right, people, what is up? I'm headed to a call in North Phoenix. It's supposedly a snake sitting under a bougainvillea bush. I was told that no one's watching the snake, so we will see. All right, she said it was in the backyard. Oh, I see him. I got him okay. right here. Man. All right. Ooh. So he's been coming back yeah. pretty frequently. Yeah, he comes every night. Yeah. That looks like it's the only guy back there. All right. Well, that was pretty easy. So I'm out here taking a little bit of a hike we have to keep in mind that these snakes like I said are very heat sensitive and so it can make it a little tricky during this time of the year in terms of finding a spot because you want to find a nice spot that the snake is gonna not only be comfortable in but have a good you know shelter however you also want to make sure that you're not spending too much time looking for that spot because the bucket that this snake is in right now can get really hot in there. And so you don't wanna overheat the snake with a big long hike. Let's get the snake out of this hot bucket here. We got the pack rat nest right here. We got an entrance there, an entrance where she's going over here. So probably watch her dive right into that hole. This snake is officially to where it should be. And looks like she just found a way in there while I'm talking to the camera. So I'm gonna head back up to the car, get in the air conditioning. As you can see, I'm pouring sweat. Headed to a call in South Phoenix. They have two rattlesnakes, two. Uh, and this is an area where I do get a lot of speckled rattlesnakes and I am just buzzing because uh, this morning I already got two Phoenix Mountain Specs. So if I get two South Mountain Specs, oh my gosh, my day will just, it'll just be made. Two of them, huh? Yeah. So they're over in the corner. Oh yeah. shoot, we got yeah. a speckled rattlesnake and a western diamondback. Yeah, so one, yeah. the brown one's a western, western diamondback. diamondback. And the, the bluish one is the, the speck. Sure. Mr. Diamondback. This is the diamondback. This is the speckle rattlesnake. Wow, super cool. Look at him. Let me see if anyone else is there and then I'll show you guys yeah, yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got another one, guys, guys, yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a gopher snake. What are you doing, you weirdo? He's really tucked in there. That one's a harmless snake, so. So do, do you have to remove them if they're not 
lethal? Oh no, one? it's your call, really. I mean, you can leave the one that's not the rattle, I don't care. I could try yeah. to water them out if you guys nah. are really concerned. She's fine. She's okay. okay. You just have a frame now. <laughs> wow, look at that. Holy. Look at how gorgeous they are. That's a pretty. Accept. That's a really gorgeous speckle, that was me. We've seen them here a couple of weeks. Alright, getting ready to hike these two kids back into the mountain, but I'm going to put some water in the bucket here for them, see what they're doing. Can I pour some water? There you go. Alright, yeah, so i got to hike these two in uh, to the preserve, and it might take a minute, just because i got to hike up a little hill and whatnot, um, but i got to hurry because it's 108, so the faster I do this, the better it will be, so let's go. Alright. Speckled rattlesnake and a western diamondback. Such a cool combo. First combo call. Look at that. Wow. Your rattle's all wet and it sounds like a bug. You guys are gorgeous. All right, I will let you go now. You must pack that nest here. Let's get the western diamondback first. Cause it's looking like it wants to strike. Okay, let's get the speck first. Beautiful speck. Nice, healthy speck. See you later. You guys best friends. That's so cool. Or did you just like that nice, cool spot? Maybe a little bit of both. Could you with your friend? I know a tough guy. Keep her moving, though. All right. I'll back away and it'll dip in there now. I have had just the best day ever. Two Phoenix Mountain Specs, and even after those, I was like, it'd be cool if I got a South Mountain Spec today. And look at that, a South Mountain Spec. It's been a great day.